guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about AWS Direct Connect billing so there are a few questions that get featured in exam in I mean just to know how billing works in AWS Direct Connect so it's important that you understand this okay so basically there are two categories of billing uh, pricing per port R and the data transfer out fee from AWS first let's talk about pricing per port R so whether you are using a 1 Gbps sorry whether there you have a 1 Gbps or 10 Gbps or a sys 1 sub 1 sub 1 Gbps so these are basically the hosted connections right so if you have these connections you incur a cost and you basically incur a cost for every hour your connection has been up so this is for connection uptime so the number of hours your connection has been up you will be billed from AWS so uh, yeah so in case of 1 Gbps and 10 Gbps this billing normally starts after 90 days so they give you this buffer so that you I mean set up all the networking which is required with the help of your partners and your providers so that is why they give you a buffer of 90 days but even after 90 days if your connection is not up you will be billed for this and in case of hosted connections uh, this starts immediately so from day one so as soon as you accept the connection in the console your billing starts okay and one more thing for port hours is that for port hours uh, the account that owns the connection is built so I'll give you an example when we'll talk about data transfer what I mean so the owner account basically the account which owns the connection is built for port hours all right so next now let's move to data transfer let me get rid of this and this okay so data transfer out so well there is no charge for incoming data uh, and you charge a nominal fee for outgoing data right uh, in direct connect uh, which is very i mean very fair compared to the charge charges uh, if your connection would go out uh, via internet right so first let's talk about private WIF so connection I mean the network going out of a private WIF and then we'll discuss about public WIF so first we'll take a look at the private WIF so private WIF will either be uh, attached to a VGW VGW or a DGW which is a direct connect gateway so any traffic going out from your EC2 instance via VGW or direct connect gateway uh, is charged at a reduced cost uh, which is a direct connect uh, transfer rates basically so direct connect transfer rate so there's a, a page on AWS documentation I'll try to put a link of that which basically gives you an idea of the direct connect transfer rates which apply when the data goes out of your direct connect uh, connection uh, with private WIF, one point you need to remember is that the account that owns the private WIF is charged. So what does this mean? So let me just get rid of all this. I will draw a diagram and show you. Okay. So suppose you have an account A which is your payer account or it can be suppose uh, the owner of the connection which has and from there you have taken a hosted connection account B and say account C they are the hosted connection right. So port hours will be built to this account built for port hours because this account owns the connection but these accounts 
suppose they create a private RIF to their AWS VGW right these accounts are built for private or public WIFs I hope this makes it clear right okay uh, moving on to public FIF, so any non-VPC data constitute public FIF data and if you only use public WIF to access the resources owned by you then you are again charged the reduced fee which is the AWS Direct Connect uh, charges, data transfer charges and this basically applies across uh, the same account and it can be like any linked account. So let me give you an example of that what I mean. Let me get rid of this. So, yeah. So suppose you have an account A, which is the payer account. Account B, which owns the public with. Right. Sorry for the writing and say account C which has say an S3 bucket with large volume of data and then you have an account D which basically retrieves the object from this S3 bucket right so that let's I mean if all the A B C D and B C D account are linked to your pair account A uh, or in the I mean via same organization or I mean however you do it so account A will account sorry account C will observe the same data charges uh, like I mean the same data direct connect data charges as any other account so even they are different account uh, the uh, the charges would be same across the same direct connect connection so I hope that that's clear yeah i mean it's it's a little confusing that is why the billing is important to know how the billing works in direct connect so for public WIF, you should know that even the link account gets the benefit of a public WIF. so if the traffic is going across a different account over the same public WIF, you are billed the same aws direct connect uh, transfer charges all right I think this is it for this video guys uh, I hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel and I think there's just one topic left in our course which we I would cover in my next video and then we'll be done with this course and then we'll move on to our Linux course which I have promised will be starting most probably by next week so yeah keep watching and let's rock